Alright, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm still working on the polish on this bad boy. I am up to 2000 grit now and things are going a little bit faster. Uh, I can see my first mistake was not starting on a much lower grit. I should have started just down on 80 and gone through all of them. Um, I've lost a lot of time chasing out weird low spots and stuff like that, but So there's the last side I worked on. Um, that's the 1500 grit side. This is where I'm at at 2000 grit. The mirror's starting to show up. There's still some faint scratches. They should go away in a couple more grits. I got 2500 and 3000 left. And I've been alternating between uh, going through grits on this and then taking it over to the other vise and using the buffing wheel on the drill. Um, I bought a dirt cheap buffing wheel, um, well three buffing wheels and three buffing compounds at Harbor Freight the other day um, in anticipation of doing this. So in between grits I'll hit it with the buffing wheel and clean stuff up a little bit and it's been taking care of me pretty good so far. Um, you saw that one side, we'll spend a couple minutes working on this and uh, then I will pause it because y'all don't want to be that bored. And if you think your 2x72's platen is smooth and flat, you are sorely mistaken. One nice thing, once you get into the higher grits like this, these sheets are way more than enough. You don't need more than like one sheet to do a lot of sanding because they don't wear out nearly as fast as the rough ones do. But I'm going to pause this, I'll come back after this side's buffed and shined, show you what that looks like, and then I'll just keep moving. This will be a very short video. Okay, um, there we are. Sweet. Um, I've finished up the uh, 2000 grit sanding. see we're pretty much at the same spot on both sides give or take um, especially once this finish is drying off a little bit uh, I'm gonna finish all the way through 3000 to get it polished as much as possible and then come back to you like I said short video and uh, we'll see just how good I can get this finish y'all sit tight okay we're back um, I have taken this up to 3500 and I have run it through all of my buffing wheels I don't know what's going to happen yet. I haven't taken the, the last coat off. Let's see what happens. I got to tell you, it ain't perfect, but man, it is shiny. Yeah, you can see some of the haze left from polishing compound. All right, Let's try a little trick. This is a spray away glass cleaner. It foams up, and this stuff will get things, especially non-porous surfaces, unbelievably clean. Um, I normally use this on my car windows and on the side windows I, when I'm done I have to touch them to make sure they're rolled up. Um, it gets them that clean.
And the trick on car windows is just ball it up newspaper and go side to side and up and down with it. And eventually, you'll get where you want to go. Okay. That's better. You can still see a little bit of hazing. And that hazing is leftover scratches from where, honestly, I didn't start at a low enough grit. And uh, I can see like little flaws here and there, but honestly, I don't care about those. I just wanted to see if I could get a mirror finish. And that's where we're at with that. So, not perfect, but a lot of stuff learned. The biggest takeaway from this is start on the 80 grit paper. Start on a low, low grit for the hand sanding. Chase out all your low spots on the 80 grit, get everything nice and clean there, and uh, slowly work your way through everything. You know, if I would have started on 80, this would probably would have come out perfect, but it's all good. I'm not doing the hand sanding on this one again. Until next time, praise the forge and pass the borax. Y'all have a good one.